in today's video we'll be talking about how to create shortcuts for files folders apps and other things on your android home screen let's jump right in to be able to make shortcuts on your Android device, you need this app called Shortcut Maker. So you just go to the Play Store, search for Shortcut Maker, you will find this app on the list, you download it and install it on your phone. So let's go into the interface of Shortcut Maker. So in the interface of Shortcut Maker, you see that there are different things you can make shortcuts for, but of course, we are just going to focus on folders and files today. So to be able to do that, you tap on folders. Of course, we've already selected a folder here, so you tap select, but if that is if the default folder is not the folder you want to make shortcuts for, you can navigate to any other folder on your device that you want to make a shortcut for. Now, it takes you to the new shortcuts interface. Here, you can see the details of the folder that we are trying to make a shortcut for. You see the name of the folder, the icon. So, if you want to change icon, you tap on icon. It takes you into this interface where you can choose, you can choose from all the apps in your device, any icon that you want to use for, for your folder as your folder icon you can edit text so once you have selected the icon you select on the tick mark on the top right corner of the device and then select create shortcut now besides that um, you have the option of locking that sh shortcut assuming it's a shortcut to a folder that you do not want other people to have access to you can enable this and then uh, shortcut fix fix reset shortcut issue on some launch as well that may not apply to all all devices so if you do not have the need for that you can forget about it so but we do not want to lock our our shortcut so we will deselect that and then click on create shortcut it shows us what our shortcut is going to look like and then we say add now you see that the new shortcut has been added to our home screen assuming it's a file we wanted to create a shortcut for let's go back to our shortcut maker step back select files assuming there's a particular file that you want or maybe you you need to open that file very frequently and you want to have quick access to that file whenever you need it so you can navigate to any file of your choice let's use one of these uh, bag images you know let's just select something random let's say it's this image maybe we are going for a meeting to meet with a customer and we might need to show that customer this particular item on our phone so instead of having to navigate to gallery and all that you can just create a, a shortcut to that particular image on your home screen so that once you get to where you need that image to be open you just tap on the shortcut it takes us back into the new shortcuts interface you can select what app you want to open that file with so in this case we want to to be open with gallery so that once you tap on it it already knows the app to use and open the file and it just throws it wide open so you click on create shortcut it shows you what the shortcut is going to look like then you tap on add now we have the shortcut to the file that we need on the home screen and we also have the shortcut to the folder called new goods so if you want to open the file you just tap on that file it takes you straight into the file if you want to if you want to open the folder you just tap on the folder it brings you in to the folder interface so basically that's how to create a shortcut for files and folders in your android device you can also create shortcut for other things using the same method but of course at the beginning of the video i had already said that we want to focus on how to create shortcut for files and folders of course to create shortcut for apps you just need to <clears throat> to press and hold or make a long press on the app icon and then you can drop the app icon on your home screen as a shortcut so you may not need to worry about that so basically that's is that if this video was useful to you please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video